Welcome back to another video guys. Today we will be doing a little bit of wire cleaning here. Um, as you can see, I have the ECU EMU black. Um, previously, I had this cover here sitting on top of the wirings just to cover up a little bit of the mess here. Um, but really, everything worked. It was just a little bit unorganized because the first time I did it, I um, you know cut a little bit extra, cut a little bit short. So there was a lot of extra wires hanging around and just causing a lot of rat nests. So what I did is I ordered, actually, I ordered um, new connectors. What I did is I ordered the new connectors for the EMU black. It comes with a black connector and a gray connector. I already finished up wiring the uh, black connector. As you can see here, it's all clean, nice. And what we're gonna do now is wire up the um, gray connector. Now, it does come with new pins, big pins and small pins. There's only two different sizes. And this is the EMU black chart, I guess, if you would wanna say. And really, all you gotta do is follow up the numbering here. So the black connector, if you look at it from the top, this way here, we have number one, which is ignition coil five, number two, EGT, and number one, number 14 is ignition coil number four, and so on. So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to create a new harness and just to make everything look clean. Um, but I will show you guys how to wire up some connectors here and then I'll do the rest. But also what I'm gonna do next after is I'm going to clean up the trunk because the trunk is also another story by itself. Ever since I removed the uh, fuse box from the front, I got it to the back. But as you can tell, it's a little bit messy here. Everything works, does its job. It's just it's not organized here. The battery is slightly loose, so I gotta put some sort of um, tray under it and um, hold it down, even though I have rods here. But um, as you can see, it's still slightly loose there. So we gotta do something better with that and then just clean up everything here. I was thinking of doing some sort of um, race fuse box DIY type of thing, but um, I still haven't finalized, but let's see what we're gonna do with that. For now, let's go and do some uh, connectors and pinning and wiring. So I'm gonna be using 16 gauge and 18 gauge wire for the two sizes I have. And um, you're gonna need a crimper of this sort here that'll work best for this application. And um, yeah, let's get to uh, crimping some uh, wires. So what you wanna do first is remove the plastic pieces from here. Just like lift them off. Don't put too much force, they could break. That's one here. Remove the rubber seal, I guess. That's there. And then remove the bottom piece as well because if you don't remove this and try putting a pin in, it's not gonna lock in place, it's not gonna click. Um, so you wanna click all the pins and then put this cover in just to lock everything. So we're gonna take that off here. There we have that, so. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna cut all my wires same length, just like how I did on the other connector here. And then I'm gonna feed them through the plastic, through the seal, and then start doing the job that we all I gotta do is really just push the clips in, push everything in, snap it in place, and we're good to go. So I'm just gonna cut some wires now. I'm gonna see how many I need exactly. So we're gonna follow the um, great connector, which is 24 wires or 24 pins. And we have a few things that's important here. We have the ignition, we have injectors, we have auxiliary. Um, ground we have for the O2 sensor which is the uh, white band we're using uh, we have power for the MU and um, really the only things that I'm not gonna need is 2 3 10 11 which is H bridge uh, winding so we're not gonna use that for now and um, yeah let's get to it so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get my wire stripper here and I'm gonna strip a very small piece not too much off the wire There, I twist the wires, get my uh, little pin, and uh, just gonna cut off a little bit off that. So, you're gonna get your wire here, cut it a little bit off, and strip the wire off a little bit, get your pin, plug it in now. The first 
Now the first portion here, as you can see on the pin itself, there's two portions. There's one that goes around the insulation and one around the wire. And we're gonna go that way here. So get my wire here, get my crimper, put it in place. Secure and just crimp on it. Now all that did on the first one is crimp the metal onto the wire. So as you can see there, the metal is crimped on the wire. Now for the back portion, there's probably a better tool than what I'm using. Um, but so far what I do is I just get my crimper, use one of the portions inside and make sure I just crimp on the insulation properly and really what you want to do is do the same for everything just make sure whenever you, if you're using EMU black and just look at the pins because again some of the pins are big some of the pins are small so don't just you know get one same length of wire or same size and just use the same connectors because they're going to be different so here you have 114 27 to 15 28 and um, 12 13 25 26 38, 39, all big connectors and everything else is small. On the gray connector, you have 1, 9, 17, 8, 16, 24 big connectors and everything else is small. So just make sure you go in as you want to and um, crimp the uh, appropriate pins and wire size. Pretty much done um, flipping all the wires here, crimping them. What we're gonna do now is we'll start plugging it into the connector itself. So it goes that way here. And we're gonna start with the top one first. I'm gonna go vertical on the connector all the way in until you hear it click. That's one. Second one there. That's in. Third one. You're gonna do all the rest, 29 of them. And, sorry, 24, and you should be good to go with the connector. So what I like to do here, because the um, the seal is very tight right now, what I like doing usually is just taking a little bit of grease and greasing the cables here, just like that. Side. And then, and you can see it's much better. You can pull through the wires, and eventually, you can just push the seal in, and it slides right through. So that's clipped all the way in. And that's it. Now for the extra ports that we have open, usually they give you um, some block off pins. All you want to do is just plug it right through the seal there. So we have four of them that we're not using. Just keep them in there. pretty much it for this connector. This is done, the black one is done. Now we're gonna go to the car and clean up some wiring.